Voting in Nautica, you can find us in Instagram, Facebook, and also at our Gmail email that's written down below. You can order your shirts while supplies last. Shipping is also available. Boring in Nautica. Well, what's going on, my people? My name is Tiburon Rodriguez, and this is Body Care Nautical. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to change this VRO pump. This is 150 horsepower Johnson VRO. And I'm going to change this fuel pump and the fuel, uh, the oil pump. I'm going to put the regular fuel pump on it. So stay tuned. And let's see how we're going to. All right, so let's start disconnecting hoses. I already disconnected the three screws here. I'm gonna. I don't know why they use these um, clamps. I'm not a big fan of using clamps. Let me see. You can actually move the camera a little bit up. That way you can actually see. Perfect. So this is the one. It's Yeah. No, no. Oh, man, this is serious tie here. Uh -huh. All right, I guess it's going to go now. All right. You got one. Now, if you see this, this one is actually the one to go for the oil going in here, which is disconnected already. What I do, I mix actually the gas with the oil in the VROs, these years, this Johnson, this Everwood, uh, this VRO actually quits. And, you know, fuel pump there is not the greatest on this. The engines are great. I love these engines. I don't like, however, the VRO system. Not to mention that this VRO pumps. Oh, woo! Not good. There's a gas right there, of course. No. All right. Let me see. Do I have gas in the camera? I think so. That's part of the deal. All right. So now this is the VRO engine, the pump. Pick up for the oil, for the fuel. This pump right here costs over 200, over 200 bucks. So the one above cost me a grand total of 40 bucks in eBay. So we're gonna lay down, we're gonna open it up, see what's, what's inside it. We can actually check it out. Now, this is the hose, comes from the, from the fuel tank. So this one, this one goes right here, and, uh, right here. Mm -hmm. I like to use these things, but they're already using it. But eventually, I'm gonna change all that. I, I like to use tie wraps because this, you, it's not neat to use these clamps here. Um, the other engine that I had, the uh, 80 horsepower. I just uh, cable tied the seat tights and actually work perfect. But I'm gonna use this, this for now. So, all right. So that's the intake. That's the in going in. Now this hose right here is actually if you see right there. That's where the, comp the it's coming from the block. The compression of the engine go through here. And that's what actually make the pump work. So, compressor here. I need to lose this more, of course. Then again, I don't, I don't know why they use this stuff, but they use it. So hey, I have to use it, I guess, for now. All right. Now, tied it good, pretty good. Good, pretty good. You know, good, pretty good. Set it down. Nice and neat. You don't want no. That's what I like the seat tight. 
but hey, it is what it is. But it, uh, I'm guaranteed that I don't want to have no gas leak here. So, all right. So then again, here is the in from the fuel tank. And this is a jump right here because it's going to circulate the gas right here. And it's going to go th through here to the carburetor, which is this hose right here. And then here is going to the spacer. It's actually the, um, what you might call it? The compressor from the engine. So all I have left to is use this one, but now. Let's see if I can actually use, before I install that, I pretty much think I can use at least one. You know what? I think I can make it happen. No, I have only one here. So I'm going to see how I'm going to put both of them. So anyway, the pump is going to go right here. I'm going to put one screw here, one screw over there. And this hole is going to go tight here, so that's the way it's going to go. So uh, I need to put this hose. I might need to cut this hose, it's too long, you see. Yeah, I might need to cut it. So I'm going to put a tight wrap here, and you may going to ask.